So the FCA are back with another press release and this time they got their eyes set on the cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency trading may see the same fate as binary options as the FCA proposed to ban trading of cryptocurrency derivatives to retail consumers. Let's get straight into the video. Hi guys, it's Eni, aka The Knock Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that alert button <coughs> to get alerts on all my latest videos. I've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Knock Trader on all social media platforms. And if you check the description section below, you'll see two links. You'll see a link to my mailing list. If you join my mailing list, you get priority access to the free training course I'm creating for all beginning traders. And I've got a Discord group called Pip Talks. Um, in this group, we've got uh, channels for traders and investors, and it's just a community chat room where like-minded traders and investors can discuss uh, stocks, shares, investments, and everything, and anything to do with trading and investing. Um, let's get straight into it. So, I'm actually I've actually created a ch a um, before I get into this video, I've actually created a uh, um, playlist just for the FCA because I've started to create so many videos that I, I felt like I needed some playlist. So check that playlist out. Um, yeah, the FCA are taking no prisoners 2019. I used to say they were very reactive, but it looks like they're taking a proactive stance these these days. Um, that could be good or neg positive or negative, depending on where you stand on some of these new rules that they're putting in place. So it was only a couple of days ago that I actually created a video about how IG had, in, had introduced a crypto crypto 10 uh, index which was uh, a weighted index of the top 10 cryptocurrencies um, I know some of the other trading platforms have done the same thing as well plus 500 I know they've done it um, I'm not sure who else has done it but I think to be honest this press release is 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 in direct response to these crypto 10 indexes I think they think cryptocurrencies have gone a step too far for retail traders so that's why the FCA are proposing to ban um, the trading of cryptocurrency assets for um, retail traders. So, um, in this article, it says that FCA considers these products and ill suited are ill suited for retail consumers who cannot reliably assess the values and risks of derivatives or ETNs that reference certain crypto assets, crypto derivatives. So, uh, I think what they're trying to say is retail traders. I'm gonna lose a lot of money, so we're we're taking cryptos from them because it's too complex for them to understand because they're not that educated. That's the um, that's a little that's the translation I'm gonna give you to that. So they, which is true. That's why um, which is true to some extent. There's there's a big there's a large gap in knowledge between um, retail traders and institutional traders, and that's why the few retail traders that are, that are profitable are in a small minority that you always see on these trading websites that are oh, anything between 75 percent and 80 and 90 percent of uh, trade retail traders are uh, lose money and it's true and it's because they're not educated a lot of people get into trading and they want to make quick money and they don't really do the due diligence and do the boring stuff which is learning how to trade charting understanding leverage understanding margin all this type of stuff they just get in fund an account blow their money up and then leave or they may, may carry on and keep losing money and that's that's the story for most traders so a lot of people think trading is a scam but it isn't it's just that most people are profitable because they don't take the right steps to um, educate themselves and understand the market before they even put money in their account that's another story I digress um, yeah so the, I think their response to maybe because they have the they, they have they have information that we don't have they must see that a lot of retail traders are losing a lot of money on cryptos and they're trying to protect them. At the end of the day, that's what the FCA is there to actually protect the consumer when it comes to um, trading. They they have other um, mission statements as well, but when it comes to just uh, retail trading, they they're actually trying to err on our side as retail traders. But I think sometimes they take a a rash approach to 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 things that are more complicated than just going for a straight ban. I think that's that's the easy way out, but maybe that's not the best solution. Yes, um, cryptos is highly volatile, but I feel that the fact that they introduced the ESMA regulation last year, which meant that, as you can see here, the leverage for cryptocurrency is two to one. So it's not like other um, 
other assets classes where the leverage is a bit more favorable crypto has the most the least favorable leverages out of all of them so if you want to trade bitcoin which is at the point of recording this is about 13,000 US dollars you need half of that in your account to trade it on spread betting so that means you need about that 7,000 something like that 6,500 in your account to trade cryptocurrencies so that 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 in itself is a barrier to entry for anyone that wants to make any silly type of trade to make a big uh, big money off crypto um, I thought that was enough of a deterrent for people to trade it willy-nilly but maybe it's not but I don't think banning all outright is the best way about it because crypto isn't going nowhere and I feel like it's here to stay so and it wouldn't be fair to kind of not give uh, retail traders access to a specific asset class just because you think that they they don't know how to handle it if anything I feel that the leverage requirement was a good way of weeding out the the people that shouldn't really be trading it um, or it would make people take a better look at whether they wanted to trade it if they knew that they needed such a, a large sum in their account to even have access to to trade in um, cryptocurrencies so but they said that here we estimate the potential benefit to retail consumers from banning these products to be in a range of 75 million to 234 million a year where are these are they getting these numbers from are, are the are the trading platforms giving them um the the, the back end data to, to let them know how how many traders are losing money on cryptocurrencies i doubt it so i think this is a this is a thumb in the air number i don't believe that they they have any data to back up this number i think they're just saying that because they need to justify why they're banning it maybe just me being uh, um what's it called pessimistic but i, I don't th i think they just pulled this number out of nowhere how do you know how much you're gonna uh, cost savings you're gonna make when when cryptocurrency hasn't even how much data do you even have on cryptocurrency it hasn't been it hasn't been on the um, trading platforms for long enough to really have to extrapolate enough data for you to even get this type of number for a year because it's uh, yeah so i don't know i i think this that number is a ballpark figure my suggestion would be i would well they're not listening to me they're not watching this video maybe they are i don't know if they are, uh, get me on as a consultant. But um, I think the the fact that the leverage is that that two to one leverage is is in place, I think that should be enough. That should suffice. And banning cryptocurrencies is not the way to go. But it looks like that's the that's the way they're heading. But um, I thought I'd just make a little video on this since I've been following pretty much everything the FCA do that's related to trading and investing. So um, yeah, any AKA the not trader signing out.